all verse rising soul family peace to the god stars and goddesses soul family when you heard an individual say that all melanated ethnicity people all the afro hair ethnicity people are all spiritual beings and you as a spiritual individual you look at that type of information and just shake your head because you you learned and I learned that not all melanated ethnicity people are spiritual beings. Because let me tell you, let me tell you this. Those melanated people that are like Republicans and Democrats and they be supporting white supremacy, patriot ways of living. And those melanated people that are like Freemasons and fraternities, they be law attorneys, judges, cops. You know, so we're going to just say those type of melanated people are spiritual beings. You can miss me with that. You need to get out of here with that because not all melanated people, not everybody with Afro hair, not everybody with that melanated skin is all spiritual beings. They Those type of people who say all melanated people are spiritual beings, they must never seen the melanated people in United Kingdom, USA and Canada because melanated people majority of those melanated people in the western countries they are very slave minded you don't see a lot of melanated people in the southern states in usa you know talking about yoruba spirituality which is in nigeria you don't you don't you don't see a lot of melanated afro hair people in the southern states of usa especially in louisiana talking about oshun yamoya oya and all these orishas you don't see a lot of melanated people in the Western countries representing Unk Life, which is spelled A N K H L I F E. Unk Life originated in Egypt, Northeast Africa. So, like these melanated people that don't represent African Caribbean culture, those type of melanated people are not spiritual beings, soul family. Those type of melanated people are coons, Uncle Toms, Aunt Susans. Stephen A. Smith, a coon. Okay. People that are melanated skin, that be in the entertainment industries, they are coons, Uncle Toms, Aunt Susans, rednecks. So not all melanated ethnicity looking people are spiritual beings, man. Look at the melanated people who look at a melanated person as a crazy person to say that Catholic Christianity white supremacy is evil culture like those type of redneck melanated people they're gonna look at those melanated people that's in tune with african caribbean spirituality as the crazy ones so not all melanated ethnicity looking people are spiritual beings man we need to stop thinking that oh just because somebody look look melanated they're all spiritual beings like have you not seen these colleges with the fraternities those melanated people in, in the college in the colleges, they represent Greek fraternities. You know, fraternities started in the European countries by these slave owners. So you mean to tell me all melanated people are spiritual beings? No. Because if all melanated people were spiritual beings, every every melanated skin person that I've seen in my life, they would they would be considered like family to me. But not all melanated skin people are spiritual beings. There's melanated people out there that really think the sun kills you. We're talking about melanated ethnicity people. There's melanated ethnicity people who are genetic modified humans that really think the sun burns your skin. And these are melanated people that look like the ethnic group of people that can absorb the sun energy. Right? Like, come on, man. Because I'm going to tell you, the, the, the percentage of melanated people that are spiritual beings is like very slim on planet Earth, man. Like you, if you want to find spiritually awake melanated people, you got to go to an African country or a Caribbean country. Like these are all facts. Like your chance of finding spiritually awake melanated people that realize that, you know, spiritual fitness, keeping your body in shape, it. It enhances your spiritual intelligence, your spiritual health. Finding those type of melanated people in a Western country like United Kingdom, USA, and Canada, it's like trying to find a $3 bill with Willy Wonka on it. You're not going to find this shit every damn day out in the Western countries when it comes to spiritual melanated people. Because spiritual melanated people 
all these spiritual afro hair melanated people you could find them so easily in nigeria ghana congo cameroon angola eritrea you could find spiritually awake melanated people that's in tune with the orishas unk life egyptian spirituality so easily like you could find a mcdonald's everywhere it's so easy to find spiritually awake melanated people in the african and caribbean countries you know, finding finding melanated people that's not spiritual beings in an African in a Caribbean country is like trying to find a three dollar bill. Like rarely any, I, when, like when I say rarely any melanated ethnicity person in an African or Caribbean country is not spiritual. That is rare. That is super rare. But finding melanated people that's very ignorant and and so zombie like and and have a closed mind way of thinking. You can find a lot of those closed-minded, melanated people that be on that Uncle Tom, Aunt Susan, redneck, white supremacy energy a lot in the country of USA, United Kingdom, and Canada. Because you know why? USA, Canada, and, and United Kingdom, it's all created from European ideologies. So you know the melanated people in United Kingdom, USA, and Canada is not going to be spiritually awake people, man. Come on, you got to think about that, man. So when you see a lot of these spiritually awake melanated people, just know they be located in an African country or a Caribbean country where there's not a bunch of white supremacists out there. Like a lot of these melanated people, because I'm going to talk about this much deeper on the difference between melanated people who grew up in the African and Caribbean countries versus these melanated people who grew up in the redneck United Kingdom, redneck USA, redneck Canada, bro. Like we got to really get on this the difference between them, man, because not all melanated skinned people, not all these melanated afro hair people are spiritual beings. We gotta stop this, man. So that's like saying that's like saying DDG is a spiritual being. That's like saying Kazanet is a spiritual being, just because he's melanated. Just because they look melanated, so that, that gives them the that gives them the past to be spiritual beings, man. Come on now. So we so we're just gonna say people we're gonna say people like NBA Young Boy is a spiritual being because he looks melanated, he got afro hair, just like these melanated people in the country of Eritrea, the countries of Somalia, the country of Sierra Leone, the country of Ivory Coast. Come on, we're not doing that. If all melanated people are spiritual beings, so that means sexy red, Beyonce, 24k golden. Who else? What's another melanated looking person? The baby. Come on, man. Like any melanated skin person that's famous, they are not spiritual beings. We got to stop this just because, oh, someone is a melanated looking person. So they got to be spiritual beings. Like we, we can't do that. We can't do that. T.D. T. D. Jakes, he's not a spiritual being. Kirk Franklin, not a spiritual being. Fantasia Bar Fantasia Barino, if that's her name, she's not a spiritual being. Uh, who else? Tyler, Ella May, Jean Ico. The list goes on, man. Come on, man. Drake, 21 Savage, uh, designer. Come on, man. You really think that a lot of these melanated people that are of high status as spiritual beings or melanated people in the southern states? Who would look at a melanated person crazy for speaking African and Caribbean languages as spiritual beings? Come on, man. And I can tell you this. A lot of melanated ethnicity looking people in Louisiana, they're all ignorant. They're all ignorant, man. They're a bunch of rednecks. They support white supremacy. They hate the Black Panthers. All of them do, man. They're fucking Southerners, man. Louisiana's not no African country. It's not no Caribbean country. So you know the melanated people in Louisiana and all of the USA are ignorant people. <laughs> Come on, man. Melanated people in United Kingdom and in Canada, they are so fucking lost out there. Just like the ones in USA, man. The, mel the, the most spiritually in tune melanated people is the ones in their native African and Caribbean countries. Case closed. This is no debate. I won this.